What up, gang? It's your boy Zob, and I'm back with another banger, man. This is going to be for my educational breeding series. Uh, a fan requested that we explain the term natural selection. You might have heard me mention it several times in one of my previous videos. So I wanted to break it down so we don't confuse any new or upcoming breeders and um, basically give you an inside understanding as to why I might use the language, give you the differences and the breakdowns between natural selection and selective breeding. Thank you for rocking with us. Comment, like, subscribe, and follow the whole team, man. Let's get to it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower and the long boy. He smoked the sour. Should've been a hippie. Should've been a shower. Red with no dread. Black cock. Oh, yeah. Another thing. Don't forget to join the Discord. So I wanted to start off with really just giving a better understanding of um, the differences between natural selection and selective breeding. They really are the same. One is dealing with plants while the other is dealing with animals. Simple as that. I, I in particular, use the term natural selection because it's dealing with environment. When the environment is having influence on the uh, phenotype or the expression, right? So um, through selective, through selection or isolation, uh, through isolation we can um, you know, influence the, the, the results. Now with animals, there is no environment that manipulates the offspring, right? So when we got puppies or whatever animal you're breeding, um, the environment has no effect on the outcome of the puppies. It's, it's different with plants. We use tents to mimic the environment outside. You know, especially when we stress test, uh, we're able to manipulate the gene pool, uh, you know, to a certain extent using the environment. Um, that's, that's why I, I, I use the term natural selection when it comes to plants in general. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that I'm open pollinating or it has anything to do with open pollination. It's just how I uh, identify or, 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 you know, differentiate plant breeding in general from animal breeding, uh, which would be more so selective breeding, I would use the term. So. All right, gang, hopefully that clarification gave you a better understanding of the differences between natural selection and selective breeding and why I particularly like to use the term natural selection when dealing with cats or plants in general. So thank you for rocking with me as always. I appreciate y'all. If you have any questions or comments that you would like, any requests about a future video, something you might want to learn or something you might want me to touch on, put it in the comments, man. Other than that, thank y'all for rocking with me, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Money ain't stopping, so I ain't need, so I ain't need. Hot boy got a fever.